in the last video. You need to brush your teeth, yo. And your eyes. And so it continues. Click. Ah, uh, the music. It's so good. Let's click again. It's lovely to see you again. Are you ready to begin session two of S and S S and S E P? So, okay. So where were we? All oh, right. I, now I remember. You got a burdensome book known as the Megatome. You woke the deathless specter who still lurks in the darkness beneath Mingita. What a creep! Am I right? It is a time of woe. A sinister thunderstorm has clouded the skies, and the lovely people who live in the hut are miserable. Silencing the storm will require some familiarity with psionics, cryptozoology, and miracles. 1. A sorcerer's touch will unseal the megatome, revealing the unspoken thoughts of living creatures and other esoteric material. 2. Strange Sylvian sprites, sources of sorcery, slumber in ponds, woods, and meadows. Seek their subtle sonorous, sonorous booms. 3. A sorcerer who can locate, summon, and tame the cosmic geometry of the Golden Trigon will possess the ability to work miracles. Confused? Excellent. Keep calm and carry on. You jerk. Alright. Where am I? I'm all the way out here. I'm out here. Well, nothing else better to do. Let's... Let's go all the way back to the hut, I guess. Since this is locked, right? I believe this is locked. What's this? We spied a curious looking nest nest box and in the ex in the in <sighs> We spied a curious looking nest box with an inscription that read Tweet and ye shall be retweeted. I am not connecting my Twitter. Is this locked? The locked door in the stone wall blocks the old road to Mingi Ta, and apparently the key is in lost. And apparently the key is lost in dreams. Let's make our way back to the hut, because I think that's where we have to go next. Let's go. Hey guys, just teleported it all over the place. The dark-haired girl known as Girl was feeling the woe. Ever since the storm began, the girl had seen the sonorous spumes of Sylvian sprites who slumbered in the woods nearby. She wondered if maybe three sylvan sprites could help lift the storm. She asked us to investigate the sonorous spike, sprite, spoon, bubbling up out of the deep water pond outside the hut. The girl spoke, spoke of a sprite in a meadow nearby and yet another sprite in a nest box that was home to three rain-soaked songbirds. The girl told us to seek the sonorous spumes of these three sylvan sprites and send them skyward with the song of sorcery. Man, I can't read today. And you, what do you have to say? The woodsman known as Logfilla had given up on his wood chopping due to the sinister storm. 
Log fella reminded us of how the storm rolled in pretty much right after we had retrieved the megatome from beneath Mingita. Was Logfella not so subtly suggesting that maybe we ought to try to do something to lift the storm? What about you, doggy? Alright, let's go. Is this it? You! What are you talking- why are you here? It is time to learn the Song of Sorcery, a conscious expansion technique that reveals a mystical musical dimension. Keep calm and follow my directions to summon the sylvan sprite that softly slumbers in the cool waters of the deep water pond. I see it. How do I do it? Tap and hold. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um... What do I do, game? 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 Hello, little sprite. That's how you do it. It's a child? We sang a song of sorcery and summoned a slumbering sylvan sprite from the cool waters of a deep water pond. So strange. Okay. Well, either way, I have to go this way. That's where uh, the girl told us that we would find... Oh, you. Very nicely done. You've learned the Song of Sorcery, and now the unfathomable power of the Megatome is yours. The Megatome intercepts linguistic thought, transmissions, it contain and it contains everything you'll need to complete your woeful errand. I'm thinking about something right for this moment. Why don't why not open the megatome and look for me to find out what's on my mind? Look for the white triangle on the top right. Tap it and then equip the megatome to reveal what is hidden. Click Sorry about that. Needed to close Steam. Okay. Like you. As you can see, the Megatome gathers and collects linguistic thought transmissions. Scroll down to see what I was thinking before. To sing a song of sorcery at any time, sir. 
Tap and hold upon the Scythian for a moment, and observe, or observe, or two, and observe the gathering sorcery aura. Once you have begun to sing the sor the song of sorcery, tap and hold the sorcery aura and, and swipe to look around. Uh, blood, 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 blood. blood. So this is the Megatone. It is absorbing linguistic thought transmissions. Am I reading my thoughts that I'm think as I'm thinking them? Hmm. Are my thoughts arranged chronologically in the order I thought them? So this is what I must, what I was thinking a few seconds ago. Wait, why am I referring to myself in first person? Or I thought our sto story was told in second person. With a ceaseless storm overhead, we learn we have learned sing a song of sorcery and summon a slumbering sylvan spirit. blah 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 so you're the scythian that's all let's get out of here let's look for those sprites Um, I believe you are. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Come on. Yes, take combat to those sheep. Clicking sheep, clicking sheep. Uh, hey, look, it's a sprite. That's adorable. All right. We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite from the rich earth of a meadow containing four pairs of worthless sheep. Awesome. What do you want? Okay, I'm expecting there to be another sprite over here. Yeah, you just sit in that pond now, don't you? It's raining already, you don't need to get more wet, you silly dog. Alright. Get across over here. Yes, I see it. I see it. Ah, tutorials. What could be it this time? Is it trees? Is it rocks? Is it bushes? Um, uh, it's birds. There we go. Click, click, click. We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite from the curious nest. Nest box sur surrounded by three rain soaked songbirds. Who are you? Who's that guy? Oh, it's a girl. Let's talk to you. What you going on, girl? You're outside now. Something must have happened. The girl stood sheltered from the rain between, beneath the wooden, uh, the broad wooden roof of the well. 
She had left the comfort of the hearth in the hut because apparently Logfellow was freaking her out about something or other. Okay, Logfellow, what are you freaking her out with? This will be entertaining. The woeful woodsman known as Logfellow was totally freaking out about something. Apparently Logfellow had lost the key to the locked door in the stone wall that blocked the old road to the Mag Magnica. Magnita. We're like, grow not another fetch quest, am I right? Logfellow told us that, told us he had been sitting right there by the fire when he had fallen into a deep sleep. Logfellow said he thought he had lost the key in the twilight realm of dreams. We had heard about the strange dreams of the dark-haired mountain folk of the Caucasus, Akas so this made perfect sense to us. Or did it? Logfella invited us to warm our boots by the fire and dream along with him. We're going to sleep with Logfella. Let's do it. Sleepy boopy. So, I guess we're going to his dream now? Side A. Side B. I guess that's the, um, the dream world side, I suppose? Anyway, new land to explore. Let's keep going. What the? Is that a dan- Is that a dancing bear? It's a bunny! It's the bunny! Hello, bear? No! I just wanted to be friends with you! What's this way? He is so happy. Nope. Oh, well, that deer doesn't like me. Okay. I don't think there's anything here. So. Bear! Wait for me, bear! Oh, you think just because you're dancing behind there, I don't see you? Alright. Can I walk across this? Like, why am I here? Okay, I guess we go back. Oh, there's the key. I got the key. Oh! Bark, 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 bark. Yes, dog, he worked the best. Um, all right. If you want to read this, you can read this. I'm just gonna go through this. All right, let's go. Whoa. So I'm going to sleep in the dream world. Nice. It is like Inception. Alright. 
The woodsman was super relieved that we had managed to retrieve his lost key from the twilight realm of dreams. The woodsman known as Long as Logfella. Blech. And the woodsman known as Logfella wondered how we got so smart and he asked about our woeful errand. We told the woodsman how we had come of age on the steps alongside our fearless Scythian sisters and brothers. We told Logfellow why we wandered here in this mountain wilderness and how we were guided by the finger of an all-knowing god. In this case, a mouse cursor. We told Logfellow about what we suspected the esoteric markings inside the Megatome might signify. We had a hunch that we needed to summon a few more sylvan sprites to soothe the storm. In a hushed whisper, we spoke of our intention to locate and tame a manifestation of cosmic geometry known as the Gold Trigon. It was 100% clear that the woodsman known as Logfilla had stopped paying attention. We figured we could just hang on to the key and go on a walk but on the old road beyond the stone wall. Let's go. Hello, little dog. Let's go to where we want to go. Forward. Now you don't... Well, the rain hasn't let up yet, so that's a problem. But, we'll see. Alright, hey girl, how's it going? We met the dark-haired girl standing in the rain soaked on the side path. She had heard the subtle sonorous spoons of the sylvan sprites from beyond the stone wall on the old road to the Mingita. She spoke of the towering tree trunks on either side of a mighty river. She spoke of faint rainbows at the edge of the perilous precipice. And then she grew fearful and told us to consult the Megatome if we became lost or confused. Because it was our hint. So we walked on. Alright. We got to the door. And we used the key. Oh, is this round two? Let's fight ya. Shall we commence battle wolf? Battle wolf, yes, this is a battle wolf. feel like dying yet, Wolf. Come back here. Have at thee. Still going. The wolf disappeared. Wait, but there's a sprite here. Okay. Let's see. Anything out of the ordinary? What does this do? Click this, yeah, but okay, so maybe that's the biggest one. But no, oh. 
This one? No. How do I do this? Is there another? I don't understand. Is this is it just because I keep misclicking? Okay. Now we click on this side. Uh this side broke again. This one, this one, this one, this one. All right, that's every tree. Hello, little sprite. Boop, boop. We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite beside a stolid log bridge. Where four pairs of tree towers above the river. All right, let's go. Always walking everywhere. Always the best. Continue on. We spied a weathered looking nest box that looked kind of like a face in a creepy way. Oh, That's... bad. What does this say? On a side path leading away from the old road was a stone carved with a series of previously indecipherable lunar pictograms. The pictograms referred to the secret place located nearby, where the moons, where the moods of the moon could be altered. The moon grotto? What's this? It's a door. Yeah, but is it important? The locked door hid in the forest underbrush below the old road le leads up to the Mingita. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Well, I see a little spurt there, but what am I clicking on now? Um... Rubbing it as much as I can, Captain.
What else is there? I don't see any more. It has to be these rainbows, right? Mushrooms? What do I click? Do I rub this? It says rub. again. Well, it said rub, so wonder what that means. What do I do? How do I release you, Sprite? Okay, time to look up the hint. What does rubbing do? Click his nose! Click the nose! Um... don't know what I am supposed to do for this sprite. Is there anything to click on? Rub it! Rub the rainbow! I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe if I look at this mushroom.
Oh. I am high. Lovely. Um. I am having a... I am high on mushrooms. This is a thing. Lovely. This is the best. The music changed everything. This is great. Not sure what to do. Whoops. What do I do? I need this sprite. What do I do? Ah. Hmm. Well, undoubtedly, I need to be in this mode. Um, but then. Rubbing the rainbow. I'll just keep rubbing the rainbow until something happens, apparently. Oh. That's what I had to do. You little punk, get up there. We just woke a slumbering Sylvian sprite between two lonesome rainbows by the side of the perilous precipice. Precipice. Awesome. Does that mean the rain's gone now? Yes. That is what it means. The rain is gone now. Awesome. Let's go back home. Or, I mean, uh, to Longfellow's home. Because, for all we know, we're homeless bums. Uh, more walking. Looks like I'm wearing boots, so I guess these boots were made for walking. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Made of honey. Okay. There's the flag. There's a rock. And bushes. To the next scene. And again to the next scene. Hey, look, it's the, the loyal dog. Awesome. Come on. Oh. No entry. Log fellow? You know, I. Uh... The storm's lifted, yes. Um. The sheep have taken fright in the meadow? We can't have that. Let's go, dog. You coming? No. Let's go. Fine, sit there. Don't come. Hello, girl. You have any news for me?
We asked the girl about the worthless sheep hanging, hanging out around the hut, and she said they had taken fright a little while ago. We told the girl we had sent five sylvan sprites skyward, and she told us perhaps a time of miracles was at hand. We thought that maybe we ought to go investigate the meadow where the sheep used to be. All right, let's go. You worthless sheep, get out of here. You you guys ain't wanted in these pots. Except for your wool. Hmm? Hey look, the sprites. First off, hallucinogenic mushroom. That's always the first priority we have here. Let's get that mushroom. Awesome. What does it say? Um... Okay, whatever. Didn't really read whatever. Nope. Let's read. Okay. Sword of Sorcery. Do I bring it here? Do I bring it here? To the center. Yes, to the center. What's happening? These guys are glowing now. Great. Um... Uh... What do I do? I have to do something here. Oh! Yeah, just move mountains. Great. What's happening now? Oh, great. So, I'm afraid of this goal, this triangle. Lovely. Let's get this triangle. Bite? Okay, I mean, I don't see a problem with that, but... gonna hold my shield up. Oh, it's shooting little triangles now. Yeah, I better hold this shield up. What's it gonna do? I'll just keep swinging my sword at the air. Shield. I'm just gonna keep holding my shield up. Alright. Okay. Cool. Good thing I can deflect them bad. Or else this would be a problem. Oh boy. gonna shoot now. We're playing like space pong here. I'm guessing there's a boss battle. Ow. I lost the star. How do I get the stars back? Uh huh. Great. 
trying to kill me with a, like an insta-death laser. Take that, triangle. Ow! Not paying attention. Good job. Yeah. Good job. with this. Seems worthy to to control the triangle. got the gold trigon. We are so awesome. Bravo! You have located and subdued the cosmic geometry of the golden trigon. Miraculously, the sinister storm has lifted and glorious sunlight has returned to the realm, so that's totally awesome. These heroic deeds reflect well upon your perceptiveness, intuition, and perseverance. You have done exceedingly well so far. Note, you should choose should you choose to continue the S S and S E P experiment, those aforementioned qualities will be challenged and evaluated. In any case, let's take another little break, shall we? As always, I'll be right here whenever you're ready to begin session three. Alright. Pretty great. Sweet. Session two? Session two? Done. 41%. All right. 